LeBron, talk about Draco the Ruler. Right? And your son smoking weed. Bronny. How do you feel about that? I like that he j- joins <laughs> FaZe. He's, I had never heard of this kid in my life. All of a sudden, there's a fucking drama alert post. Oh, Bronny is in FaZe. It's FaZe Bronny now. A week later, boom, ever- smoking Kush. I want to know if FaZe <laughs> Banks brought him an eighth of some fucking Chiba Chiba, and now that's how he got on the weed game. You think it's possible? I think it is. I'm not going to pin that on FaZe Banks. I'm going to put it on <laughs> all the members of FaZe. You all turned FaZe Brawny into, into a pothead. A, into a drug addict Think about that. Think weed. about how many rappers this kid has probably met, how many basketball player, athletes, superstars he's met, actors, whatever. He starts hanging on with the FaZe boys and he's smoking kush? Come on. How did it get leaked? Was it like an Instagram story or? He put it on his Instagram story and then immediately deleted. That makes you wonder. Mm. Maybe he just wants to smoke fucking weed and yeah. like be like, bro, I smoke weed. Get over it. Yeah, but I really you hope know? my daughter doesn't like think like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna, here's some bad thing that I'm doing and I'm just going to do it. Fuck what my parents think because then it's going to be like, you ever think about that? Mm. That's going to have to be a conversation at one point. Like, yes, I know that your friends use social media to do this, this and this, uh-huh. but your parents are not just random people, so we're gonna have like way different standards. Like, hey, I really don't even want my kid to have a phone until, you know, as late as possible in life. How old is Bronny? I don't know, but he's probably either 18 or near 18. Because Kylie Jenner just announced oh, to the world that she's a pothead. No, it was one of no, the other. No, Kendall, Kendall, Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner. Kendall, who one time. Me and Nate Richter were standing outside of the On Some Shit store, and we see her pull up, park, and walk over to a tattoo parlor. No security. Her and her friend, they saw us staring at them. They looked over a little little bit real quick. That blew our minds. Damn, that's crazy. This bitch parking right on Melrose? Like, you don't know that it goes down here. Wait, when was this? A couple years ago. Mm. I feel like some of them just kind of be out, like, doing anything. Because my friends used to work at Wasteland in uh, Sherman Oaks, and, like, Mm. a bunch of famous people would just pull up all the time. Like, all those, like, Kendalls and all them. I feel like it's way different for, like, rapper-type superstars versus, like, you know, like, who's who's going to shoot Kendall? Maybe think, someone, though. I think it's, it's for them, it's not as much of a shooting thing as much as mm. it is, like, a stalking or, like, yeah. weird, obsessive fans, like, trying to, like, like kiss their butt or something. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like Kendall would ha- have to deal with, like, a psycho stalker. Like, But she's just so ridiculously famous that, for me, yeah. that's why we were so shocked. We're standing there, and she pulls up in a little sports right? car thing, parks it, and just walks a block away to go to the tattoo shop. We're like... Yeah, Whoa, that, that is kind of ne- crazy. I never would have thought that somebody on your level would be doing that right now. But people say that shit to me too when they see me and Lena just out doing normal shit, walking around Laguna playing Pokemon at fucking midnight. Yeah. Like people driving by being like, Adam 22, what the fuck are you doing here? Yeah, I can't imagine you and Lena just rolling around with security. That'd be so weird. Uh, yeah. No. You want me to present you a very. Uh, I can shoot somebody. Why do I got to do that? Why do I need security for Oh, you got the blicky on you? Mm-hmm. Watch out. The blammy pack is nearby at all times, my friend. Are you ready for a controversial question? Sure. What do you think is the state of LA music right now? Is it inspiring? Hmm. Or do you think it's kind of dry? I feel like I'm going to get killed for this one. That's interesting. I mean,. I feel like there's always like some new talent coming out. I feel like Blast is uh, about to blast off potentially. You checked him out? Uh, we were talking about last week. It was like the one yeah. I said spelled with X, right? Yeah. I'm not too familiar with him, but I've heard He's good. good things. You would like it. I feel like he, he could go far. Um, I do feel like the la- like the, the Shoreline Greedo Draco movement mm-hmm. moment, that was exhilarating. Right. I don't know like... Because we just don't have like a movement right now. Like yeah. Odd Future was a movement. Mm-hmm. Shoreline and all that was a movement. Granted, it's smaller than Odd Future. But th- these, you know, there's like, do, do you feel something like that in L.A.? I would love, like, if you just had a, a pack of young new kids who just like had some different little style and they just started blowing up all together. That's when you really start to see like the youth get kind of like mobilized and like really excited about some shit. I don't mm-hmm. know that we really have that right now. Yeah, because I was thinking about it. Like my friend was my friend who's a producer was like, oh, who should I work with? That's hot in L.A. right now. I'm like, you know, I really like this guy, uh, Money Sign Suede, and he's already working with him, I guess. But I was just seeing him on Rose Cran's Vix. Uh, he's tight. Instagram. I like him a lot. Yeah, he has a cool voice. But um, then I started thinking about when we were all really excited about like Shoreline and you know all the names that you mentioned, One Tick J and AZ Track and all them. But then I feel like what happened is from that spawned 
another creature that rose from the ashes called Blueface. Mm. And that just got too big that it kind of like blew it all up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like Blueface is definitely the, the most recent like real superstar to mm -hmm. blow up out of L.A. for sure. Because people want to say that like L.A. music is too regional or like West Coast music in general. And I'm like... You There's know, some of that, but... I mean, because especially Bay music, they want to say that it's too regional and it's only going to only going to pop in the Bay and it's not going to hit like nationwide and whatnot. Right. But it's like you have to think about like Atlanta music has been nationwide, worldwide forever. Very true. <laughs> you know, so I wonder if I, I want it to become a place where L.A. Uh, hip hop is global. Yeah. No, I mean, definitely like when you when you think about it, though, it's like I don't feel like there's a lot of pop and rappers, but. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it feels like there's a lot of like good underground shit going on like in Detroit. Like there's a lot of different rappers out of Detroit right now who are killing it and who are doing millions of views on YouTube. Yeah, that's a new scene. But you haven't really seen like one of them just blow past everybody and become the fucking superstar of that scene. Mm -hmm. pa probably partially because a lot of that stuff musically doesn't necessarily like lend itself to like huge, Translate, yeah. huge hit records, which yeah. I mean, but I think like, okay, if you look at Sada Baby, Sada the Baby. whole lot of Chopper's song and stuff is like a fucking viral meme type thing right now. I feel like he could kind of lead that charge. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, you do wonder like like who who could really be that because there, there's a lot of like, you know, drill, like, damn, see that's like LA, imagine if LA had a pop smoke right now. That's what I'm saying. You know, like, pop smoke yeah. was that for Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Like there's all this drill shit going yeah. on, but no, here's the superstar that yeah. is going to take that sound and turn it into something that could all of a sudden be on the Travis Scott record and be on, like just be taken to a completely different level, you know? Because our pop smoke was Blueface, but it was yeah. like, but it, it was, was less too, musical. It was, too, it was too, it was, it was big because people, it was funny. It was personality driven more yeah. than musically driven. Yeah. Which is. I still, I love, I love Blueface. Yeah, no, And I think Blueface, yeah. like I don't count Blueface out that he could still have huge records and mm -hmm. stuff, but like, you know, as, as a personality, mm -hmm. Blueface is bigger than Pop Smoke because Pop Smoke wasn't as cartoonish and ridiculous and everything. But then as a musician, you know, we've seen. Well, I mean, Blueface did have a lot of big records, you know, so I'm not going to... Pop Smoke had bigger records, though, for sure. I don't know. Thought, I Tatiana think, perhaps excluded. It was huge, but I yeah. think it was... I don't know. Never mind. I was going to say that Pop Smoke had more people in the industry behind him pushing it, but no, so did Blueface. Right. Yeah. I saw people saying that Mulatto was the first female rapper that Cole Bennett did a video with since Katie Got Bands, which caused me to go to YouTube and type in Katie Got Bands Lyrical Lemonade and watch uh -huh. like a video from like fucking six years ago or some shit that he did for her that has like 40,000 views or something. It was like kind of crazy to think that Lyrical Lemonade was small enough that they could have a video come out and get that few views. But it's actually not even true because Cardi B did videos with Cole Bennett too. But I guess that is kind of like a weird thing yeah. is that the Lyrical Lemonade world has not touched on too much of the upcoming female talent. Although I also wouldn't be surprised if there's more, I'm forgetting. No, because that's the thing that like me and my friends have talked about before the Mulatto video, like, oh, when are they gonna work with a female artist? Cause mm -hmm. yes, the Cardi B uh, video was, was a Lyrical Lemonade video, but it wasn't her song, she was a feature. This is true. Yeah. I wonder, uh, yeah. I, did I you like that video? It was good, yeah. You like I like her in Did general. you like the song? I don't even remember, but uh, <laughs> I, don't really, I, don't really, I don't really like the song. I like the video, but I like I like other songs off that tape a lot more. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. Lil Uzi finally made his first fucking lyrical lemonade appearance too. I know, right? Is, is it the Tekka one? Yeah. I didn't watch it. I watched it, yeah. and it like as a song, mm -hmm. I was like. I gotta listen to this more because I can't tell if it's like the kind of thing where like the melody just didn't really make sense to my brain mm -hmm. or where maybe my brain was sort of like lagging behind. It didn't really sound that coherent to me when I listened to it, but I don't trust my first judgment. I, I feel you. What? Whose melody was it? Is it both of them were singing or? They were both Tekka? going in, but Tekka had the hook and shit. So. so you didn't like the hook? It just didn't really, it didn't connect with me in the because way that certain Sorry, songs have i guess yeah because people were saying that that song had leaked but it was only uzi song on it oh, and really? then people really like that and then they're trying to say that tekka ruined the song really but i haven't really paid that much attention to the, the i don't pay attention to the leaks at all i don't give a fuck about that hey this has been another episode of the no jumper show hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you want to support like comment subscribe and go to nojumper.com get yourself a kendama or a t-shirt or something appreciate y'all